Hi, I'm Rubos, and like many of you, I was really excited when YouTube Insight became Google Analytics. But of course, as with all new things, it can get a little bit confusing. But don't worry, I'm here to banish confusion from your lives and explain everything. Well, not everything, but some things, and I have put on my YouTube hoodie specially for the occasion, and I'm going to attempt to answer the following four questions. First, why does my latest video have zero views? Second, how do I find an individual video? Third, where's the map? And fourth, why is there no traffic source for embedded videos? If you need help on something that isn't listed here, there's a link to Google Analytics help documentation in the video description below. Right, now, if you're ready, let's go! Now, you may be disappointed to note that according to Google Analytics, your latest video appears to have zero views, and in fact, zero activity, even though clearly it does, even if it is just you and your best friend. Well, there's a simple answer to that, but I'm afraid it's not going to be very popular. Turns out Google Analytics doesn't actually update in real time, and it can take a day or two for results to come through. But hey, when they do, you get some really nice looking pie charts. Now, apparently a lot of you, once you're in Google Analytics, are going back to the video manager to look for the next video that you want to see statistics for, which is a little bit like walking from New York City to Jersey City via Los Angeles. You can do it, but almost as soon as you've started, you wish you hadn't. There is an easier way. Look for the text field that has the video title in it, reset it by clicking on the X, and it becomes a search tool. Clicking on that brings up a list of your most recent uploads, or you can browse all content for a list of all your videos, which you can sort by view count or upload date. Or, if you prefer, simply type a few words into the box and hit enter to find a video more quickly. Now, I'm told that this isn't some kind of sadistic easter egg hunt for geeks, but a really clever piece of technology. And once you've got used to it, you'll wonder how you managed to live without it. Now, it seems that a lot of you can't find the map to see what countries your views are coming from, but it is there on the overview page. If you have a small monitor, you may have to scroll down a bit to find it. Click on it, and it'll give you a whole wealth of information. Mouse over countries to see how many views came from there, even countries you never knew existed. Click on a country name below the map to see viewing statistics for that country. You can also select a continent from the drop-down menu above. And before you ask why North America and Australasia aren't on that list, I don't know either. And if you're getting a lot of your views from Antarctica, then all I can say is congratulations, you're the first YouTuber ever to make penguin-friendly movies. There seems to be a lot of confusion surrounding traffic source for embedded videos. You go to traffic sources, find the statistic for the embedded player, and expect to be able to click on it and see where all those views are coming from. But that data isn't there. Instead, you have to go to playback locations, and there the link is clickable, as you might expect. There is a technical explanation for this, and I did prepare a very long and complicated lecture, complete with cute graphics to explain it all, but then I realized that it was just far too long and boring and a lot more confusing than the original problem, so I ditched it. But basically, if a video is embedded on another site, Google Analytics knows what web page the player is embedded on, and that would be the playback location, but has no way of knowing how viewers found that web page, which would be the traffic source. If you want more, I'll be happy to come to your house personally and explain it all just as long as you pay my travel and accommodation costs and live somewhere interesting. Sorry, Wolverhampton, you're on your own. So there you have it, confusion banished, and if you want to thank me, then just stick around my channel and watch some more of my really, really awesome videos. 
If, on the other hand, you want to complain about Google Analytics, then don't come to me. Instead, go back to Google Analytics and use the report a bug link at the bottom of the page. That way, I get all the nice comments and YouTube gets all the complaints. Hooray!